be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan... Well, well, well. It looks like Christmas came early this year. Ho, ho, ho. And we're all on the nice list because that vegan teacher is getting ready to dangle her toes on OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just joking. Unless? But anyway, for real. That vegan teacher has decided to change up tactics just a little bit here. Rage baiting and getting everyone pissed off at her didn't seem to be working. So now she's trying her hand at the stomach turning grotesque appeal. Like a disgusting NPC in Elden Ring. Just when you thought she had to be running out of ideas to push her brain rotted vegan agenda. I specifically mean hers, not all vegans. She somehow comes up with another fantastic idea to get people to watch her again. She's like a typical cartoon villain that spends every single episode coming up with a ridiculous new scheme like Doofenshmirtz or Plankton. Be the secret formula or I'll destroy the Krusty Krab. Ah, you and what army, bug? <laughs> what army? What army? Look around you, crabs. You planted grass? And at the end of the day, her new elaborate ruse still ends in failure. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about taking off our clothes as activists, posing in the nude, and getting money for it. And whether that is a good thing for veganism or not. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this issue. Taking off your clothes for the sake of activism, huh? That's where we're at now? That, that's where we are in 2024? Okay. Um, so, Miss Katie, if you hadn't already completely destroyed any value of your vegan agenda that you've been trying to push in your uh, pursuit of activism to, you know, save the animals and all that stuff. If that hadn't already been done with the hundreds of heinous, ridiculous things that you've said and done, um, this would be it. This would be the nail in the coffin for you, I think. Um, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Please. No. Please. To be honest with you, I don't really know exactly how I feel about it. On the one hand, I am a strong feminist. I've always been for equal rights. I've fought for them for ages. And that includes the right for women to do whatever they want with their bodies. On the other hand, it seems very depressing and sad and somehow wrong that animal rights activists feel that they have to take off their clothes and pose in the nude in order to get enough money to be able to pay the rent, pay their internet bill, buy themselves some food, have a roof over their heads in order to be able to work to save the billions of animals on this planet who are suffering. So, um, who the hell is going broke because they don't have enough time to work and stuff like that because they're too busy being animal rights activists? Um, I think if any vegans are having a difficult time with money, it's probably not because they're too busy out on the front lines waving stop eating meat signs in people's faces and going to ridiculous rallies and stuff like that all the time. It's probably more so that maintaining a vegan diet is quite expensive if you are to be healthy because you do have to supplement a lot, which can be very expensive. In addition to that, I feel that if there are activists that are struggling for money, it probably has very little to do with the actual activism itself. Now, I've never heard of any animal rights activists, any vegans going around shaking their titties on OnlyFans so they can afford to live because being an activist is just too expensive for them otherwise. But you're the one out there getting involved with these communities, so maybe you know a little bit more than I do and the rest of us. So please feel free to enlighten us, Miss Katie. I would love to know more about this claim. I have been told myself that I should do an OnlyFans. Pause. Oh, hell no. I know she did not just say that people have been telling her to 
to make an OnlyFans. Fucking who? The animals that you talk to? Did Pervy the fucking bear tell you to go on there and start shaking your toes? Because I don't think any logical brain having human told you that. Unless it was ironic. If anything, she was probably reading her comments and somebody was just like completely just blown away at the ridiculous things that she said and done and thought to themselves, man, what's next? You're going to make an OnlyFans account? And she took that as, I should do that. They're suggesting it. They want to see me. They want to see my vegan toes. That's an excellent idea. All these youngins are hanging on on this OnlyFans platform I've heard so much about. Maybe that's my new way to reach people. Um, no, definitely not. I'm going to want you to rethink that statement just a little bit here. That there are all kinds of crazy people out there who would pay money to see close-ups of my toes. Personally, I find that really bizarre. And it's not something that interests me. Oh, thank goodness God is merciful. Happy day, happy day. But should we look down on women who do this? Or should we think to ourselves, well, they can do whatever they want with their bodies. And in fact, isn't it one of the most amazing things that they are willing to expose themselves so much in order to get money to be able to do something that they feel very passionately about. All right, so personally, I don't really care what people do on OnlyFans, what they do with their bodies or any of that shit. You guys do you. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. And so I don't disagree with that comment that she made. However, it does make you wonder, where is she getting this information from that there's people that literally are like, man, I'm so desperate to save animals and to be an activist that I have no choice choice but to go on OnlyFans and pop my butthole for everybody to see. It makes you wonder if this is just some crazy idea that she's conjured in her own head. Some kind of strange, twisted, alternate reality where she thinks every vegan that isn't as fortunate as her to have as much money as her is some kind of crazy activist that spends 90% of their time just focused on activism and they don't have enough time to actually work. So instead, they just go on OnlyFans and show people how to use a Q Cucumber. I feel like this is just another verification for all of us that this woman is going senile and is definitely delusional. She believes some absolutely absurd, crazy nonsense. Now, I imagine that there probably are a few people out there that are animal rights activists that are vegan that also have an OnlyFans account. That's not so hard to believe. What would be difficult to believe is that they have that OnlyFans account purely to afford their activist lifestyles. Yeah, no, that's just not happening. Not in this reality system. I'm sorry. That might be something that you think people do, but I'm telling you right now, no, definitely not. When I was uh, early in my 30s and I had my kids, we found out that there was this camp, this uh, Unitarian camp where they had a nude beach and where kids would go and where adults would go and everybody just kind of went. It was a very small nude beach on this pond and there was at the other end of it, there was a clothing only beach. So it was optional. And uh, at the time, you know, when kids are little, they often play without their bathing suits on in the sand. And I thought to myself, well, if everybody else is doing it, I guess it's all right. And um, so we let the kids decide if they wanted to have their bathing suits on or not. And for the most part, they kind of wanted them on. You know, they liked their bathing suits and that was fine. But at the same time, there were also some adults there, even grown men, you know, old kind of hippies. And they were lying there reading a book and they were all flopped out and all the bodies with all the scars and uh, the tattoos and the you know, fat people, skinny people, old people, every kind of body you could imagine on the beach. Not that many, don't get me wrong. Okay, um, excuse me, but what the fuck? Uh, listen, I don't know what the culture is surrounding nude beaches and stuff like that. That's not something I've really delved into. Don't really have a whole lot of information about. But what I do know is that typically nude beaches are for, you know, adult hippies, nudists, naturalists, uh, those kind of people that are just like, yeah, man, the body's natural, dude. Just let it all hang out, man. Just relax. Just hang out on the beach, taking the waves, man. Soak up some of that sun, get some 
Ooh, that vitamin D, man. You know, it's crazy out here, dude. You want to go surfing? I bought some mushrooms and weed, bro. Let's smoke it up. You know, that's kind of the kind of people I picture at nudist beaches. You know, they live a very different kind of lifestyle from the rest of us. You know, it's just not very culturally acceptable to have like children around naked hippies with hairy ass beards and like, you know, they're... they're their pen 15 just hanging out and flopping all over the place as she described it so i don't think it's that crazy of a hot take to be like hey maybe you shouldn't have done that and I, I don't have a kid myself but um i've been to a lot of beaches and i've seen kids at beaches and stuff and as far as my memory can can tell me i don't recall ever seeing them like just running around naked uh so maybe that's like a canadian thing let me know there i know there's quite a few people from canada that have been watching these videos lately uh let me know guys if that's a thing in canada or not because i'm a little bit confused here i don't think that's normal you should definitely cover up your children you probably shouldn't let them run around on the beach butt ass naked for you don't know who's watching you don't know who's at that beach it might be some creepy motherfuckers you know it's not like you have to pass some kind of screening exam to get into a nude beach you know like i understand the the communities are usually kind of small, but you got in. You weren't even very familiar with it, but you got in. And I'm sure there was very little to no questions asked. So yeah, there might be some creepy ass guys there that are like, ah, there's some children over there. That's neat. And uh, you should have been concerned about that. This is why I know, like, I don't think you're a particularly good mother, um, especially with the thing that you said about that baby and the barbecue sauce. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen that, video's up there. You want to go take a look at it. Uh, just make sure you have a bucket to puke in because you're gonna fucking need it within the first 15 seconds that's my trigger warning for you anyway as a mother you're supposed to do everything in your power to protect your children you should never take them to this kind of beach even if you don't think it's necessarily harmful you don't think there's any nefarious people there you don't know and i don't think your children should necessarily be exposed to that that early on i mean i don't really know what kind of effects that might have i mean she says um in a little bit that her kids turned out fine and stuff like that but did they they had you as a parent and and what your definition of turned out fine is is a little jarring plus they're not vegan and i know you don't like that you think that's fine i don't think you think that's fine at all because um if your children turned out fine and you're proud of them you're happy about them so why is it that if they needed like your bone marrow some sort of transplant from the, from you you wouldn't give it to them you know clearly you're not happy about something that went awry maybe because they have this experience they learn to be a little bit rebellious towards you you know maybe they're like you know what maybe mom ain't that cool you know maybe mom kind of sucks you know maybe this whole vegan bullshit is dumb i want to go out and have a steak you know i want to go out and have some hot dogs some hamburgers like screw mom she's an asshole oh and uh yeah um i have a fucking question for you as well how did i not even how did i not even think about this um what the fuck does this have to do with you making an only fans why is only fans you you thinking about only fans and then also children being naked at a beach why are these in the same video like I, I don't understand like why are these topics kind of grouped together here i'm confused and i really hope you have a good explanation for this i'm sure you will right because you have a good explanation for everything that you put on the internet right just okay you get to the beach and you just Take off your clothes and you lie down and you read a book and next thing you know your life sideways and chatting to somebody and it didn't seem like there was anything sexual going on so i i had exposed to my children my children to that when they were li little and they never had any bad consequences from this so on the one hand nudity is kind of normal not kind of i mean it is normal and there's nothing wrong with it on the other hand, we all know that there is so much pornography out there right now and so many crazy people who are addicted to it and there's child pornography. And so to be honest with you, I don't think I would recommend taking kids to beaches like this anymore because you never know who's hiding around and taking a picture. And this is a very secluded place and everybody trusted each other. And this was already like 30 years ago. Um, today it's a completely different world and anything that is out there is out there forever. Okay, but I still don't get how this is supposed to tie back into OnlyFans. Exposing kids to naked people at beach is now being tied back into making an OnlyFans account today. What 
the fuck is going on here? I don't understand. So if you're an animal rights activist and you really need money, how do you feel about having an OnlyFans? Now, I know several people who have OnlyFans and they make quite a lot of money there. And they have these women also brought in their boyfriends to do the same thing, to take off their clothes, to be intimate with them. And they don't really care who sees it because to them, it's like no different than eating food or brushing your teeth. It's just a thing that people do and we need to get over it. All right, that vegan psycho, you've officially lost me at this point. I've been trying to understand the correlation and I just don't. I don't think I have the ability to process it. So if you guys in the comments think you can understand like what the purpose of talking about that whole beach thing is versus, you know, to the OnlyFans, like how, how they're related to each other and how somehow this makes a point for her, uh, please share. Cause I really do want to know genuinely. I just, I really, I want to understand, you know, if there is something to understand, I would like to understand, but I, I don't think I can really continue with this anymore because it's just not making sense to me. But you know what? Good on you, vegan teacher, for for tackling the the subject of, of OnlyFans and you know exposing yourself on the internet and stuff like that. I'm glad you have decided. You know, I'm glad for everybody that you have decided not to proceed with creating an OnlyFans account. I'm sure maybe that option will probably be on the table again if you manage to not regain your relevancy through these other methods that you've been trying. But. Um, to everybody out there in the world, don't buy into that for the love of God. I know curiosity might get the better of you, but I'm pretty sure what will end up happening, it's just going to be a bunch of vegan propaganda, and then she, like, shakes her toes at the camera and her lack of an ass that she likes to shake around. But um, anyway, we're going to wrap this video up in just a second here. Uh, she has a fantastic, beautiful song that she wrote to, you know, lull us all with. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to that torture. Uh, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. Till next time. Like somebody that you would maybe advise not to do that. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals. Don't buy their bodies. Don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Listen away to those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan started out like you, thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do, and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist, because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start now.